So today I'm going to show you one of the um, techniques in painting that adds so much. It's a very simple technique, but it adds so much richness to the surface of, of a painting. And that is glazing. Glazing is using very thin, sort of transparent washes of paint over the top of over the top of the surface of your painting and what it does is um, as well as adding a variety to the to the type of paint application you can have thick paint on your painting and you can have um, thin paint and that's a that's a difference so that that adds to the um, interest on the surface of the painting as well as doing that it also harmonizes the color here I've just prepared um, a piece of paper with some paint and I haven't, um, I haven't mixed the colours to make them harmonious or anything. I've just basically used up an old palette that was just about done and put them down on here. I like to use quite a wide brush so that it sort of covers quite a lot of the surface. And I always make sure that sometimes you can have a bit of lump of paint on the brush. You don't really want that because you want the paint to be thin. You don't want to have any sort of thick bits on there. Now what we can do is put this over the top. And what it does is it just adds, the, so it puts it, the glaze just sits on top of all that paint and gives it like a common filter all the way over so that the paint, so suddenly this half of the painting is looking really harmonious because it's got that, um, it's got that filter sitting on top of it. What I'd like to do is leave it to kind of almost dry and then I take off the excess with um, a rag and this way you get um, you're kind of allowing the paint to sit into the cracks, dry a little bit, and you start seeing the lumps and bumps that you've got in the surface of the painting, and that's really lovely. I've also got a bit of collage on here, and um, you can glaze over the top of collage as well. But what you have to do is you must make sure that you seal the collage first. And I seal collage with a little bit of um, a gel medium, uh, any sort of medium will we'll seal. We'll put a, just a film of acrylic over the top of it. And that's what, what I've done there. So this is kind of almost dry now. I've got a few puddles in it. So I'm just going to dab and get some really nice soft marks happening. The other thing you can do, I'll show you with this one. You can allow the glaze to run. And at, at the bottom... It can drip, so you can get some nice drips happening. And at the very edge of where you've put the brush stroke, it kind of gathers there. And that can create a really nice edge and line. It's a soft edge compared to a hard edge like this with thick paint. But um, it can create a, a really nice different type of edge in your painting. So once it's kind of fallen into that edge, if you just leave it, to sit, you get some really nice sort of happy accidents happening. You can get a lovely edge um, forming there. And you can see another one has formed sort of over here as well. And depending on how much of a, of a presence you want the glaze to have on the surface of your painting, you just you could just dab it off with a cloth. But it falls into the sort of um, little crevices that a paintbrush or when you scratch back through thick paint and you get lovely, lovely textural marks with, um, with glazing. So already you can see that, that this painting now is looking a whole lot nicer. The colours are working a lot better just with that, those two glazes put over. It's, this one's kind of got a cool filter over that end and this has got a warm filter on this side. And I could come in and darken up this a little bit with the, with the bluey glaze. It's a really soft, um, 
but gorgeous way of enriching the surface of your painting. When you choose the colours that you want to use to glaze, it's best to have a look at the opacity of the, of the paint. Most paint brands, they will show you, and on this one, on Golden, they use three lines and then they have the paint over the top of the, those lines. And you can see it's transparent. And some colours, like this one, you can see it's less transparent. This Quinacridone Nickel, Nickel Azo Gold is a really good one to use. I usually mix it with a little bit of black and I also mix it with a bit of Payne's Grey. Take a tiny little bit and you add water so that it's very thin and then you can use it in your painting. When you add a tiny little bit of Payne's Grey to it, it kind of takes away a little bit of the yellow And it's a more, um, it's kind of a little bit more earthy. And this is a great one for, for making a painting look old. It sort of antiquates it a little bit. But you can use any, any colours. This is, um, this one here is Quinacridone Crimson. We'll give a pinky colour. The other thing you can do is when when the paint is dry, you can use it over the top of other colours as well, which is quite nice. Now, as well as using water for glazing, you can also use um, a glazing medium or, or extenders. It's kind of the same. I prefer to use water because I like to let it run and I like to have less control with it. I like to get those happy accidents because this is now, the paint is now bound with acrylic whereas this is just, just has, has water with it, um, is make sure that you seal the painting and you, uh, with a medium like a soft gel or a gloss medium um, uh, and that will make sure that it provides that acrylic um, adds that acrylic component to the surface of your painting so that the paint doesn't eventually sort of deteriorate. Now lastly, one of the things that a lot of people um, do is when they glaze, because it look, the surface starts to look so harmonious and the colours are all working beautifully and things, they kind of leave it there. But what looks really good is if you then come in on top of where you've glazed with some thick paint because that's another difference and that is always going to look good. That little edge of thick and thin is just, um, just always looks so good and it helps to build the surface of the painting up and make for those really beautiful transitions between thick and thin and, and layers and things seen and unseen and hidden and, and coming through. So once you've glazed your painting, don't stop there. Add more um, thick paint over the top and you'll start to see how beautiful building up these layers of thick and thin paint start to be in your work. And you can scratch back through and you're looking through thick paint into into the underneath layers that's another lovely lovely effect as well